Hey Bubba, it's the Blue Collar Chefs. Did you have a great weekend? It was incredible, that party you threw last night. Well, thank you very much. It was quite a feast, man, all yeah, that food and drink. Hey, you just don't seem up to speed, brother. I'm a little hungover right now. Why don't you have a hair of the dog? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm Which trying right here. Look at this. Mm. <laughs> you think that's good for you? <laughs> it looks blue. It looks like your face got a blue. Yeah, I'll tell you what. This, uh, this drink that Chantel made is um, it's, it's it's bringing me back to life a little bit, but I still don't feel like cooking. I don't feel like cooking today. Well, you're talking about Chantel. John and Chantel next door? Mm -hmm. Are they coming over to cook, They're aren't they? They're coming over to cook. We're going to Oh, my God. Here comes John now. Hey, Fulton! Hey! Hey, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? It's hey guys! Come on, man. Bozo, you know what? I hope you brought some good grill. We heard you weren't feeling too good. And we heard you weren't interested in cooking today. So we're going to be doing that for you. Oh, and because today's Monday. Wash day. Right? Wash day, so we're going to be cooking red beans. Oh, right. Now, wait a minute. Why red beans on Monday? Well, it's a tradition in New Orleans. Well, in, in our house, Chantel cooks beans every Monday. That's what we have every Monday. The tradition of red beans on Monday goes way back to Louisiana, uh, when the women of the family used to cook, uh, we used to wash clothes on Mondays. And uh, on Sunday, they would always have a big meal and have a lot of food left over. So on Mondays, they'd prepare this red bean dish in a pot, throw everything in the pot with the meat that was left over from Sunday's meal and let that pot be cooking all day long while they would go back and wash clothes all day long. So wow. Great. In our house. Yeah. And we do the same thing at our house, but no washing clothes. <laughs> well, um, first of all, before I just, I got your favorite beverage out here from oh, Texas. Yeah. All right. Your Miller Highlight. And of course, I got your Texas wine, the Mason Jar, right. which you uh, normally drink without drinking that Louisiana and New Orleans fancy yeah. drink that you make. But the, what the blue I, balls drink or whatever it's called. But what I want to know is why don't we have uh, the Texas rum? Oh, we need, oh, hey. oh, we need some Texas rum here. Oh, oh, okay. Well, well rum from go. Puerto Rico, but uh, why not? It's well, here. well, we got a Texas rum. It's pretty good well, here, right in San Leon. Well, here we go. Let's let Bon Ton Roulette. We're going to have to have a good meal here. Cheers. All right. Cheers, Cheers, Cheers to a good cook. Here's All right. Yep. All right, so, uh, so I know we're having red beans because it's Monday, and uh, we do Monday red beans uh, in Louisiana. What, what else are you cooking here? What is, uh, I see a lot of stuff here, uh, uh, ham hocks and sausage and, and uh, all this stuff here. What, what, what are y'all fi figuring on doing today? Well, well we're, we're just gonna do red beans and what I usually do, to be honest with you, is whatever I have in my house. Ah, I love it. I put it in. I love it. There's some days I don't even have an onion, but guess what, it still comes out good. Now wait a minute, really did you say onion? Onion. <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> on your own. Stop talking about uh, food. The cage is coming out. The, the, the cage, the, yes. My indeed. cage is coming out. No, honestly, it, I'd like, every every week what I do is I cook beans, basically, okay? Uh -huh. And I change it up, white beans one sure, week, sure. red beans one week, black eyed peas. And I, I really like to have an onion. I usually use a little bit of rotel and sometimes some celery. But um, to be honest with you, if I don't have it, I don't use it. Yeah. And I still cook my beans with the, and they still come out good. But. Okay, so um, uh, basically this dish is like whatever you got left over from uh, Sunday night mm -hmm. and whatever ingredients that you didn't use uh, the night before you're going to use in, in this or dish. You may is have that on correct? Hand. Yeah, absolutely. Or you Wonderful. may have on hand. Sometimes you may have. You know, an onion. Sometimes you may not, and um, it depends. But you know, it all it always. It's works always out. good. It always, always works good. out. It yeah. always works. Well, out. let's uh, let's see you go for it then. I want oh, to see. I want to see some good cooking here. All today. right. So basically, what I like to do every week when yeah. I make my beans every week, and yeah. like this week we're making red beans. Right. Some some weeks I make white, black eyed peas. You know, it's just different. However, I always start with butter. Butter is my main thing. A little bit of olive oil. Gotta have it. Mm. A little bit of olive oil so we can raise the temperature again. Exactly. So I actually, what we're going to do is we're just going to throw all of our vegetables in the um, melted butter and olive oil and a saute them for a minute. Fantastic. Let's get going. Okay, so what we're going to do is basically throw all of our vegetables in. We have a little bit of celery, a little bit of bell pepper, some onion if you have it. And I always, I always like to put in a little bit Rotel in. Rotel always does you good. Can you cut it? All right, so we've sauteed our vegetables in our butter oil. 
butter olive oil mixture. And our meats today are going to be smoked sausage, salt pork, and ham hock because that's what we have, you know, this week. So we're going to go ahead and incorporate that into our pot with our beans that we've soaked overnight. We started on Sunday night. And now we're going to incorporate our vegetables. Wow, that's fantastic. Keep Come on, going, Bo, baby. you go ahead and oh, put that in there. I'll help you out here. I'll help you out. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely. And how many pounds of butter did you put in this thing? Oh, you don't oh, want to ask that. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you damn coon asses use a lot of butter, don't you? Yeah, but it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. you got to always have a lot of fat. A lot of fat in, in anything. Cause it's, Pure, it, too. It just, makes, it just makes the flavor. It does. You can't get away from it. What else are you going to do, baby? Now, what we're going to do is just add some pure water. Water, and if you have some chicken stock, go ahead and use that. Oh, yeah. More Love flavor. More. Yeah, yeah. I've got chicken stock if you need some. This but, is good. I yeah. mean, you know what? Believe you me. Yeah, well, with no, these with vegetables all, and, 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 and this. And oh, we don't need it. All this ham, ham and so, Oh, man. You, with the ham hock and all that, you don't need anything. And basically, what I usually do is just about an inch over the beans. I yeah. go ahead and um, right. I go ahead and cover the beans. And you know what we're going to do now? We're going to put the top oh, on the pot. Oh, yeah. There it is. Put it on low. And we're going to let it simmer. For, for like how long? Four hours, six hours. How long you need to wash your clothes? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it all depends on what part of the country you're in, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Well, I can't wait to taste these damn beans. They're going to be good. Louisiana style. Bananas Foster is, is a dish that I've always loved. I've, I've had it in different restaurants. Usually it's really nice restaurants where you, where you have Bananas Foster. I've always loved it, and I've never known what all it takes to make it. So you from New Orleans knows a good recipe for Bananas Foster, so I want to know it, especially if it's from New Orleans. Well, as a matter of fact, uh, Bananas Foster originated in New Orleans at a restaurant called Brennan's. That's right. World famous Brennan's mm -hmm. restaurant. And this recipe I'm fixing to use is the exact recipe from the original Bananas Foster. And uh, what we do is we need to um, get this butter going. Right on. Get that pan up a little, warm up a little bit. We're going to use a half a stick of butter. Half a stick of butter. Put in the pan. We're going to put in um, one cup of uh, brown sugar. Right. Oh, yes. Yeah. Get that nice and caramelized. And um, we put in a little bit of cinnamon right here. Just about a half. How, how much cinnamon? Half actually? a teaspoon of cinnamon. Oh, okay. Just for some flavor. Some people put. Yeah. Vanilla in there, I don't use vanilla. The original recipe doesn't call for vanilla. The original recipe at Brennan's does not cause for a call for uh, vanilla. That's right. That's right. So how did you come about this recipe? Off the internet. All right. <laughs> Best way to get it. But let me tell you, I've had this meal at Brennan's and other restaurants in New Orleans a bunch of times. Mm. It's irresistible. I love Bananas Foster. I mean, they, they make it at uh, some of the finer restaurants here in Houston, Texas. Uh, it's always good. Um, so we just take uh, four bananas and split them right down the middle. And then again in half. And uh, wait, before I do that, Bo, you want you mind cutting those bananas up for me? Oh, I'd like love to. Yeah, I love cutting them. So. All right, so yeah. now. Okay, so you, you cut the bananas in half. Oh, you got a good sharp knife. I can't believe it. Oh, that's my favorite knife right that's there. I nice. use that for everything. Oh, I love it. I love it. All right. Real good. So, there we go. Okay. All right, okay. show me what to I'm gonna do. throw some uh, banana liqueur in this mix Okay, so you put it in slowly. You don't throw, right, you just throw, don't it, throw in. it in there because you got some delicate stuff going That's on. That's right. So you have to slowly stir it in. Slowly stir in the banana banana liqueur. Look at that. This is going to form that oh, sauce. Yeah. That's so good. Yeah. And it reduces a little bit too. It makes it even more flavorful. Now we got to warm up these bananas a little bit. So All right. Just kind of arrange them in the pan right there. I love it. I love it. So this is just about done right now, man. I wish you guys could smell this. It's fabulous. Mm. And 
uh, this next step is kind of important um, and fun. Takes a little bit of rum. Get it on the top here. And I'm going to pour that rum in there. We've got to get this thing lit up. Man, that really, that really smells great. Man, that's, that looks awesome. That looks absolutely awesome. Now what are you going to do? The next step here is this bananas frost that goes over some ice cream right here. Yeah, right. And uh, of course the bananas oh, go on top. Man, look at that. Holy cow. And it's not going to be good unless it's got some of this good sauce on top right here. Man, you can't do that. And you need to try some. Wow, look at that. Get a tight shot. That looks beautiful. How about that? Okay, Chantel. Now, this looks like some real Louisiana cooking right here. You're I'll right. tell you what, that is some pretty stuff. That is some really pretty stuff. We got dogs barking in the kitchen. You hear that? Dogs barking in the kitchen. I love it. Because you know what? They're smelling that Louisiana red Labor. beans, rice, and then sausage. I can't wait. I can't wait to so take a look at it. Look at what she's doing here. She's like throwing a little, uh, she put a little uh, you know, garnish on there. There you it's go. Nice. All right, man, let's dip into that. Let's see what it there is. There you go, bite, huh? Let's see what it is here. Good? I'll tell you what. That makes you, it, it just, what can I say, explode in your mouth. I love it. Okay, all right, so... Um, uh, I'm sorry for the dogs, but I don't allow dogs in the kitchen, but we're not cooking right now. We're drinking! Okay? So, here's the deal. I understand that your dad in uh, New Orleans has uh, a famous drink that he makes. Absolutely, he does. All right, well, you know what? I want you, because I already tasted it, and I thought it was mm -hmm. awesome. And you know what? As, as, as I uh, had said before when y'all walked in the door, I was a little hungover from the night before. So... Uh, I had some of it. It made me feel a lot better. I want you to show Amanda how to make that drink because I want another one. <clears throat> All right, Chantel. This looks like nothing I've ever had before. Show me how to make this. All right. It was real simple. A little bit of a car. Some more. How much is a little bit? Ah, about three ounces. Approximately. I like, your, I like that. Okay. A little bit of vodka. About the same. E equal parts, actually vodka and rum, and then we're going to go to a little blue liqueur, about one and a half ounces. Yeah, Ooh. Just, there you go. Oh, it makes it so fun. Very pretty. And then the rest, pineapple juice. Ooh, yummy. Ooh, I feel like I'm Ooh. Mardi Gras. That's what it tastes like, too. Excuse me, guys. Let me give it a little finger stir. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Ooh! That's so good. Mm. Okay, so, you know, I was a little too hungover to cook today, and, and Rick took off too, because I think he was kind of tired from the party last night. But uh, my neighbors from New Orleans came over, and they made bananas foster, they made red beans and rice, and, and you know, educated us a little bit about the history of red beans and rice in Louisiana, which I had no idea because I'm from Texas. <laughs> and uh, and we, we learned a new drink today, a, a, a drink from her daddy's place down in the French Quarter. And uh, it's a, a Tango Special. Uh, and I'll tell you what, it's a delicious drink. And I hope you guys uh, copy the recipe off the internet and, and make this because it's really good. It is. <laughs> so, so anyway, here, uh, cheers. Cheers, 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 man. Have a wonderful day. Oh, cheers. Good awesome food, day, man. Good drink, good people. That's exactly. Right. Good day in Seabrook, Texas. Mm -hmm. Woo! Absolutely. Exactly.